Yo, this is Brown with Fossil Creek. Y'all, it's what hard work pays off. Right there, we're at shovel sticking up out of the ground. I have okra planted all the way to that shovel. I got radishes planted right here about six foot or so. And then I got uh, summer squash planted all the way to that shovel. I have green beans starting right here at where my head and my shadow is. Going all the way where that the length of that shovel. Under here, I don't have anything right in here yet. Uh, but underneath the tree, I don't have anything where the shadow is on the tree. Just past that shadow of that tree, it's got watermelon, sweet corn, and cantaloupe all pat um, from this shovel from that shovel right there over all the way down is watermelon cantaloupe uh sweet corn behind that shovel is where the, the sweet corn is on that roll <coughs> this roll right here this row right here and this row have cantaloupe and watermelon in them. Uh, and I don't really care if the vines mix in and out and everything else like that. Year before last, I had the cantaloupe all the way down there on that one end. Watermelon over here, and they all in their mind, in their they all kind of mingled, the vines mingled together anyway, so. Well, <coughs> which I didn't plant the cantaloupes that year. I just planted watermelons. My sister and brother-in-law uh, planted the, and my dad planted the cantaloupe. But my sister and niece and my dad, they went and got tomato plants, uh, pepper plants, uh, I don't know what all they got really honestly. I think tomato and pepper plants only. Wow. I think my niece is gonna take that one home and grow it. I think that's the reason why my dad left it. But, and this roll right here, my dad was at Atwoods the other day, and, or a couple weeks ago, and he seen wildflowers that, for, uh, that attract honeybees and, uh, and butterflies and other insects so for pollination so he planted those and i mowed grass the other day and it blew grass blew over here on it but they're actually growing little seedlings it's all popping up there's different seeds in there i don't know different plants it's a variety they're supposed to get four to six foot tall, kind of like a corn stock or a sunflower seed, sunflower plant. I don't know why they're growing more down here on this one end, but they're growing down here on this one end quite a bit. So, but anyway, I hope we have a good crop this year. And uh, I love okra. I love, I love everything I planted. I love so. I love to eat. Period. So some of this lighter brown that you see, I mix some sand in here. Some good sand in it. 
I need to get some more sand so I can mix some more sand in the whole deal. Um, I got something in the works for a plow for my tractor. Instead of tilling this up all the time, I'm going to start plowing it. So hopefully that deal works out. But y'all can just see my establish my rolls. All I do is I just run the tractor down it four or five times. But I really want to cut this limb right here down. That's my tree. I can cut it down. I just want to cut that limb off. So I can utilize these three little rolls right here for other stuff. But I think I'm going to plant my potatoes up there by the house where I normally do. So. But anyway, y'all, this is just a little garden update. The planting, I didn't show it. But, I mean, you know. But there it is. God bless everybody. Keep it off of you. Remember, God loves you and I love you too.